Russian troops along with Wagner Group mercenaries had been advancing and encircling Bakhmut's flank for months. Despite repeated Russian claims, the city will fall. Russian troops are pounding the town of Bakhmut, the focal point of months of their efforts to seize Ukraine's eastern Donbass industrial region. And the head of Russian mercenary force Wagner said Ukrainian troops arrived before the inevitable counterattack. The wave of stampede comes as Russian troops continue to fight for control of the destroyed city of Bakhmut, and as Ukraine prepares to retake territory in the east and south of the country. While Ukraine appears to be continuing its attempts to attack Russia within its borders and in Crimea, the Washington Post reported Monday that Ukraine abandoned a large-scale attempt to strike inside Russia at the last minute on the anniversary of its all-out invasion. Video footage shows an artillery unit of the Ukrainian armed forces in the area of responsibility of the Joint Forces, Strategic Group Tavria, destroying 22S6 Tunguska anti-aircraft missile complexes, worth $8.3 million each, and the invaders, Tor M2 anti-aircraft missile Russia. Aircraft Missile Complex. People's Deputy and Frontline Volunteer Yuri Mysigin announced this on his page on the social network Twitter publishing relevant edited videos, including from footage taken by unmanned aerial vehicles. Their aerial reconnaissance operators from the 129th Territorial Defense Battalion of the Ukrainian Armed Forces located the target, established precise geodetic coordinates, and adjusted fire on them from an unknown weapon. Ukrainian troops are completing their preparations for a long-awaited spring counteroffensive against invading Russian forces, the country's defense minister said, and are generally ready. Kyiv has been preparing for several months of counteroffensives aimed at pushing back Russian troops from the east and south. NATO said on Thursday its allies and partner countries had delivered more than 98% of the promised combat vehicles to Ukraine, strengthening Kyiv's capabilities. The Kremlin said Russian military units fighting in Ukraine would be represented in a parade in Moscow on May 9 to mark the anniversary of the Soviet victory in the Second World War, Reuters reports. Recently also appeared a video showing 25th separate Sykeslav Airborne Brigade fighters of the Airborne Assault Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine destroying two BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles from Russian invaders in the Luhansk region. The unit's press service announced this on its own page on the social network Facebook, publishing a corresponding photo taken by the unmanned aerial vehicle. Such as lads paratroopers repelled enemy attacks, confidently turning enemy combat vehicles into scrap metal together with their humiliating owners. Since these BMP-2s overran our positions, there is a high probability that they were destroyed not only by their crews, but also by the landing force. Russian troops and proxies along the southern and eastern Ukrainian fronts are defending and even advancing their positions ahead of an expected spring counteroffensive in Kyiv, according to the leader of the Donetsk People's Republic. Denis Pushilin, the acting head of the breakaway region at the heart of Russia's aggression against Ukraine since 2014, told state-owned Rossiya 24 television channel on Thursday that the military situation was tense in the fighting hotpot in the Donetsk area. The Ublodar area remains tense, Pushilin said, as quoted by the state-run TASS news agency, using the Russian name to refer to the Ukrainian city of Volodar, where heavy fighting has been reported in recent weeks. Elsewhere, Pushilin said that Russian troops had advanced further around the destroyed city of Bakhmut, for which several months of bloody city battles had become synonymous with Russian offensive tactics. Pushilin said that advancing Russian troops had now cut off the last open avenues for supplying Ukrainian troops still fighting in the city. Meanwhile, the head of Russia's Wagner mercenary group said he was joking when he said his men would suspend fire on Bakhmut to allow Ukrainian troops to show the town to visiting U.S. journalists. Earlier on Thursday, Yevgeny Prigozhin, founder of Wagner, 
said in an audio message published by his press service. A decision has been taken to suspend artillery fire so that American journalists can safely film Bakhmut and go home. However, in a subsequent audio message, Prigozhin said, Guys, this is military humor. Humor and nothing more. It was just a joke. The General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on April 28 that Russia had lost 189,460 troops in Ukraine since the start of its full-scale invasion on February 24 last year. This number includes the 540 casualties suffered by Russian forces over the past few days. Agents France Press confirmed in its latest report that at least 12 people have been killed in the missile and drone attacks that hit Ukraine as its troops prepared for the expected counterstrike. Large-scale missile attacks have stopped in recent months in Kyiv, which was among the cities targeted, on Friday had not been hit by missiles for more than 50 days. Meanwhile, Russian cruise missiles have killed at least 12 people in the central Ukrainian cities of Yuman and Dnipro. Days after Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky pleaded with his allies for more air defense supplies. The attack was part of a wave of Russian missile and drone strikes in the early hours of Friday morning, the most intense aerial bombardment of major Ukrainian cities in weeks. Footage from Yuman, in which at least 10 people died, showed a building burning and partially reduced to rubble. In an extensive interview with Ukrainian news outlet RBC, Major General Kirilo Budanov said that the Russian advance had stalled and they were now on the defensive. Since December, the only thing they have accomplished is the advance on Solidar and the fighting on the town pass inside Bakhmut. He said, well, that's all their achievements. Let's compare. Where Solidar is, not everyone knows. If you and I talk about the success of the so-called Second World Army, it doesn't sound very good, let's put it that way," Budinov said. The Ukrainian armed forces need not only Western equipment, but also training and accompanying military doctrine to succeed in the long-awaited counter-offensive, experts tell Newsweek. Ukrainian officials and Western analysts extensively expect a joint counter-attack on Moscow troops by Kyiv forces this spring, something Russia says it has noticed and is preparing for.